What has been the most challenging lesson that you've learned in the last, I guess, six months to a year while taking on this journey for yourself? Mm. I don't know about lesson, but I think one of the things that just continues to be driven home for me is how divided our country yeah. is. Yeah. And as much as the political pundits on TV or the politicians talk about unity, we need to unite our country, that too many of them in positions of power and influence who could lead that charge toward unity actually don't want to. They're part of the problem uh, in tearing people apart, pitting mm -hmm. one group of people against the other, whether it be based on, you know, well, if you voted for Trump, then forget it. Mm -hmm. You don't get to be a part of the conversation. Or if you are of this tribe or that tribe or, you know, this religion versus that religion, all of the mm -hmm. different things <clears throat> that they often use to, to, to drive Divide. wedges between yeah. us. Exactly. So, you know, growing up in Hawaii, this is where I go back to with my roots about the kind of leadership that I'm bringing, mm -hmm. that we can and we must come together uh, as Americans, drawing on the real meaning of aloha. You know, aloha yeah. is such a powerful word that really means respect mm -hmm. and love. The literal translation, alo means to share, and ha is a uh, breath of life mm -hmm. that exists within every one of us. And this is what allows us to uh, see past all of these kind of superficial labels, yeah. you know, race, religion, gender, orientation, all these different <clears throat> things. And to draw inspiration from that, seeing each other as children of God, as brothers and sisters, we're all connected. And therefore then, Let's work together mm. to solve the challenges that we face, treat each other with respect, actually communicate, yeah. uh, and leave all of this hyper-partisanship, divisiveness, identity politics, leave all that stuff behind and actually focus on how we can take care of each other.